risky behavior. Yeah, yeah. What's up? How y'all doing? Welcome to Risky Behavior. I am your host, Schmelly, and I'm back with another Kendra G Singles Live Reaction. Today, we got a risky topic. Um, Today's question for this show will be, should you terminate the pregnancy if your partner says that, hey, I don't want you and I don't want that baby? Should you terminate the pregnancy? And this is mainly for the ladies, but you know, the guys, y'all can chime in as well and let me know what y'all think. Would you appreciate a woman that would be willing to do that if you say, hey, look, I don't want to be in a relationship with you and I don't want that baby. And uh, that's that, you know, so let's go ahead and jump into this video. Don't want to be too long winded. Um, the young lady on this episode is um, she's going to share her story. Um, I give my thoughts at the end. I might give it in the middle of the video, but it's not too long of a video. It's probably like eight, nine minutes long. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, baby, you got better light? Okay, I think I'm in the car. Sitting in the drive-thru with my friends, so say hey, friend. Okay. Wait, we need light, baby. Keep the light in your face. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. I'm, so, I'm, on your, I'm on your app, too, Kendra. Okay, we're going to get to all the questions. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. You got to do your own order. Say again. Hello. I'm talking to her. I'm ready. Okay. Hold on one second. I just got to... Where are you going to beat me up? I'm looking at the comments. <laughs> okay. All right. What's your name, baby? I'm Tiffany. Tiffany I'm in Atlanta. Where Tiffany, where are you calling me from? Atlanta, Georgia. A -A how old are you? Um, I am 36. 36? I'm not driving. I'm in a drive-thru, y'all. I promise you I'm not driving. Oh, okay. Okay, she's not driving. I'm um, in the drive You can see the menu behind me. I'm stopped. What, what drive through are you at? <laughs> My homegirl wanted some Zaxby's, so we're getting Zaxby's. Well, she's getting Zaxby's. I'm not getting it. What is it called? Zaxby's. Zaxby's? Okay. This is a chicken place here in Atlanta. Chicken place, got you. So we got Tiffany Atlanta, 36. Um, What do you do for a living? I'm a nurse, and then I'm in school for a nurse practitioner. So. Okay, yeah. You have any children? Yes, I have one daughter. She's nine. One daughter, nine. Have you ever been married? Uh, uh, no, never been married. Single. Never married. All right. So we got Tiffany Atlanta, thirty-six, um, as a nurse, also in school. One daughter that's nine, never married. I almost forgot to unmute my mic. Um, so far, I like her. She seems like she presents well. Talks like she's intelligent. I'm educated, working hard, a nurse, going to um, become a nurse practitioner. Um, one daughter, nine years old, seems like a nice um, woman so far. Uh, seems like she got a good head on her shoulders. And that's just just first impressions of her. I like her so far. Oh, what's your zodiac sign? Capricorn. Capricorn. All right. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? I I'm also one that's like ready for our commitment. I feel like a lot of people in Atlanta, even I feel like the people on your app, like they just be playing games. They don't know what they want. And um, just someone that's loyal, honest, of course. My last dude, he cheated, so I left. I left him alone. So your last dude cheated. Yes. Okay. How'd you find out? I went through that phone, boo. You gotta go through the phone. I knew someone right. You know how you know someone right. So I went through that phone, and yeah. I found out everything I need to find out, and then he got another girl pregnant, so that was the end of that. He got another girl The one he was pregnant? The one that he was cheating on me with, she got pregnant, yeah. Goodness gracious, this is what happened. Right. I had a lady on my last call, the real same real thing happened to her. So yes. Her boyfriend got somebody chicken. pregnant. So did you find out before she was pregnant, or you found out while she was pregnant? I have a grilled chicken. Uh, I found out before, but then, like... Long story short, we was pregnant at the same time. I'll just leave it at that. Oh, this is your nine-year-old child's father? No. I don't, I don't, I only have one daughter because he taught me to abort, so it's a lot of tea. Woo, wait a minute, so you were pregnant by him, he told you not to keep the baby, and then okay, the whole time he had her pregnant. Yes, yeah, so we both, we would have had Irish twins, like, probably a couple weeks apart, 
But when I end up talking, so I ended up talking to her last year, and she aborted as well. So we both aborted. So we encouraged. She aborted. She she aborted in October, and I aborted in November. Yeah. Did he encourage her to abort too? Yes. He said, "I don't." He said, "I don't want you, and I don't want Tiffany." So that was that. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot of drama with that, honey. But I'm 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 done with that. You're done. So as you see, um, and that and that's the question I asked in the beginning, um, that I would like for you to get in the comment section. Let me know. Do you agree with that? For me personally, I feel like a lot of people are against abortion. Some people pro life, some people pro choice. Cool, whatever your opinion is on that, makes no never mind to me. But um, I do applaud her for that, for seeing that that was a. A tough situation for anybody to be in I'm pretty sure that wouldn't be her first option but I think it's smart of her to say hey look this guy he's a cheater he got me and this other woman pregnant at the same time and he is saying that he don't want to be a father he's saying he don't want neither one of y'all and so I must applaud both of these women Going, going on ahead and saying instead of forcing this on this man, instead of being vengeful, um, vindictive, instead of trying to make him be a father, throw him on child support, why, why take the headache when you can take peace? And I'm sure it was a sad and hard thing for her um, to do, but in that situation, I, I, I would say that she chose the best option, especially if somebody's being like hey <laughs> i don't want you I don't, I don't want her you're gonna be kind of on your own not and that's just assuming the guy he just don't he don't want to be a father at all he could have very well been a great father i i don't know the guy he's not here to defend himself or tell his story but hey he was honest and that's a that's another good thing to him being honest even though he was cheating he shouldn't have gotten pregnant but he told him hey i know what i did but i don't want neither one of y'all and i think that uh that's probably the best thing to do is to go ahead and not even try to force that person to be a parent so that's the um question that i asked in the beginning i'm gonna go ahead and play the rest of it because it's not that long that? okay okay how did i even get there how did i because we were person. talking about the pregnancy and like the girl, and you were asking me questions about the girl. No, I asked you a question. Oh, yeah. You he said, how do we even get here? Because that was a lot of information. Because went to the phone and found out. Okay. All right. Now we're here. What kind of man are you looking for, Tiffany? Um, Someone that's loyal, someone that's like at least 33 and up, Um, someone that's stable, that's, uh, that's willing to build. Because I feel like a lot of people are just kind of. Oh, she's a nurse. She makes good money. So a lot of people like to try to take advantage of me, if that makes sense. Okay. So you don't want a man. I just want you for your money. Exactly. Okay. It shouldn't Thank be you. that way. What are your deal breakers? Deal breakers, I'll say, um, of course, cheating, someone that's a liar, someone that doesn't have any ambition or any type of um, goals or anything. Because I'm a homeowner. I was a homeowner in my 20s. I have my masters, you know, I have my, everything of my on my own and I work for everything that I want. So I feel like they should want to do the same. Okay. Um, so you look a certain way? Uh, not necessarily. The only thing is I haven't dated outside of my race. So I'm open to all races. You're open to all races. Okay. Should he be in Atlanta? I prefer Atlanta, but he can be um, long distance as long as he's willing to travel. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you're wait, wait, I got, 36. Um, What's the age range you want to be? 33 and up. And the okay. 33, like, have, I guess 33 to 45. Can he have kids already? Yes, that's fine because I don't really want to have more kids unless, like, I'm married. So if I'm not married, I'm not going to have any more. If you're not married, you're not going to have any more. Right. Okay. All right. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Oh, I can't. I can't really do it because I'm sitting in the corner. But okay, we we go, don't. I know you sit it down, but don't spread your legs. <laughs> okay, we'll just we'll we'll, we'll, we'll uh, we we saw we were able to. See. No, I'm not ordering. They funny. They like she's still ordering. I'm like, no, I'm no. not ordering. 
Okay, Tiffany, what was your last relationship? Two years ago, um, I've dated off and on uh, this year, but like I said, nothing serious. Nothing serious. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when was the last time you was intimate with someone? Two months ago. Two months ago. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, I would say, like, being being more open and just, uh, it's, for me, it's just, it's hard to trust people because of what my ex did. And um, I would say just asking for help more often because at the end of the day, like, when you're, I feel like once you, once that trust is broken, like, it's hard for you to, like, trust in the future, if that makes sense. Like, trust someone new. Trust someone new. Got you. All right, Tiffany. Uh, why would it got to be lucky to be with you, boo? Um, I just feel like I'm the whole package. I feel like I I um, work with whoever I'm with to, you know, make sure that they grow and get more money. So that's the goal. Okay. How do you, okay, you said you're on the app, correct? Yes. How do you Tiffany, call your name on the app? T-I-F-F-A-N-Y. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. Don't, hold on. T-I-F-F. Oh, Tiffany. Yeah, Tiffany. And then Paul, P-A-U-L. Tiffany Paul, your last name. Yes. Thank you. Let's see, because there's a lot of Tiffany's. Okay, I don't see Tiffany Paul. Let me just try Paul. Um, so is your last name shown because you can hit, you can hide your last name. I think I hit my last. Well, I'm going to stop it right there. Um, that's pretty much um, all of it and, and the stuff that I wanted to get to for the question I asked. Honestly, so far, I liked her. Um, I think she answered all the questions great. Even She even answered the question that I usually would tell, especially women, not to answer, which was, when's the last time you was intimate with somebody? Because even though honesty is the best policy, blah, 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 usually you shouldn't answer that question but usually the answer is bad and i i think that as long as your answer is like maybe you know two three months something longer than that as long as it's not shorter than that then i think you're pretty much safe um answering that question you know what i mean we all adults out here she did admit that hey you know while i haven't been in a relationship necessarily i have been dating off and on and so that's a reasonable answer for that question she had her flaws she had that already ready to go i think she get, did a good job um representing herself um i think she did so very 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 well and seemed like she got a nice attitude and stuff um but anyway man i appreciate you all tuning in hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed don't be afraid thumbs up the video like it it's free share it with a friend and share it with a friend most importantly, get in that comment section. Let me know what you think. What would you do um, if your partner or the person you was messing with asked you to terminate? Would you do it? Yes or no? It depends. You know, case by case scenario. Whatever it is, it's no wrong answer. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you all. Risky out. Risky behavior.